Hey, what's going on guys? It's going off the Ev, and today I really need my caffeine, and um, I went over here to a local, a local chain, quite national actually, you might know it as the Buck of Stars, and then over here is New Seasons, they didn't have the caffeine I wanted either, so now I'm in this process of what should I do, where should I go? And I'm really craving this Mexi Frozen Mocha over at the Human Bean. So, we're actually going to hop on today this awesome bike, and we're going to probably go there instead. It's kind of half across town, though. That's the only thing. So, hopefully, I've ma I'll maintain your interest <laughs> on my short little journey. All right, let's start her up. Looking good. California rolling. Das Auto, slowing me down. Yay. I think the kid driving that Das Auto wagon is probably a teenager. It, it's really funny here, because I'm not really from the West Coast, but you got kids driving tricked out wagons. Cool, but not cool. But yet you can still camp on those. So, I get it. I drove, I drove American Muscle when I was a kid at that age, so not my particular cup of tea. How long is this damn light? Oh, there we go. Sorry, 
you back there those are uh, that's the backyard twisties so I wasn't really talking much like I am now but uh, sorry I got super into it Thing they don't tell you when you move to the Pacific Northwest. We got traffic on traffic on days that aren't supposed to be traffic like, I don't know, like on Sundays or the weekends. Their traffic has traffic out here. Unfortunately, the governor rejected out here a sign bill to lane split. So even though we're a state above California, we can't do it. And they even voted yes, they passed it, and the governor vetoed it. So, I would actually lane split. And quite honestly, um, I would definitely lane split if I could. This is kind of suburbia land right now, and there are a lot of cops that hang out around here. And uh, if it were a little later at night, um, I definitely would. <laughs> That's a place to call. I'm not trying to be a Subaru hood ornament. Kawasaki Ninjas. I love the sounds they make and I love how nimble the bikes are that they make. You'll be hard pressed to sell me on a Yamaha. Um, I don't know if that's just something that I want to do. Yeah, nothing against Yamaha. Um, it's an amazing motorcycle. They sound great. Yeah, Yamaha. They're beautiful, they're very popular, but in recent years I haven't been in love with their design. Um, Yamaha in the early 2000s, the late 90s, man, those were gorgeous bikes. Now they look like, I think they kind of look like a crossbreed between Angry Bird and Robocop. And it's still a nice bike, but it's kind of one of those things, just because everyone's got one, I don't feel like I want one. So that might be a me issue. 
Uh, and I'm sorry guys, I uh, I get a little loopy when I don't have my caffeine. I woke up pretty late. Um, really had a drag your feet type of morning, you know? And uh, we gotta go pretty slow through this one stretch of road. Cause look at that, we got cameras here, cameras there, and cameras further over there. Luckily, uh, I've never actually tripped these ones, but oh boy, you uh, you get a ticket out here, man, on a camera, they'll make you jump, jump through hoops just to get it dismissed. And um, I'll share a story with you. Late one morning, I was running late again, and I didn't have a motorcycle this time. I was driving way far south of the city that I live in, and what happened was, uh, on my way to work, it was a brand new job. I wasn't super familiar with the road, so. And since I wasn't familiar with the road or the highways, I ended up setting off a speed camera about doing 12 over, trying to merge, and this one guy with a Dodge Ram was trying to race me. And, and so being a fool, I, I took the bait, and when that happened, uh, he slammed his brakes before the cameras, before the, the, the area of the cameras, and I went rolling through while he fucking stopped. And uh, setting off the cameras, getting a ticket while he was laughing at me all the way back at <laughs> at the intersection because he slowed down enough to catch the light. Pick it up trash, what a good citizen. And I think we're almost here. So the human being, a really great coffee shop, kind of like one of those drive-ins like, I don't know, like Dutch Bros, Scooters, um, and then Black Rock. But uh, I feel their drinks here at the human being are way better. And they also give you a little cocoa bean, like a little, like a little chocolate cocoa bean on top of your, uh, your beverage. It's really cool. Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, how big is the 20 ounce again? 20? Uh, oh, sorry. How big is it? Yeah, how big is it? Uh, I'll, I'll do 32. 32? Do you want any whipped cream on that? Uh, is the whipped cream going to be on the lid? Well, or yeah. is the whipped cream going to be inside the lid? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We can do, like, instead of the dome lid, we can do the flat lid. Uh, just fill it up with like, a little less sugar needed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. So here it is, the human being. Um, oh my god, the drinks are so good. If you have an opportunity, please check them out. It looks good. You did an awesome job. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have an amazing rest of your day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Yum, that tasted super awesome. Mm. Kind of a secret here, we kind of roll up the t-shirt, put it next to the drink, and it stays secure. 
All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go home and enjoy this awesome beverage. Thank you for hopping on today. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell to see those notifications pop up. I'm going off the Ev. My name is Evan Lopez. It is currently 158. Wow. Have a good evening. Take care.